Hello, my name is Maxine and I'm one of the trainers at the International College of Professional Celebrants and I'm also um, a practicing celebrant. Now, lots of people who want to be celebrants or people who have just finished our course ask me, that's fantastic training, but how am I going to be successful? And we cover that a lot on the course and talk about how to market yourself and how to interact with couples and funeral directors. But here are some of my top tips. First of all, don't be afraid to make the first step. You've got to do something to kick off your business. And I also um, challenge people who've come and finished the course to say, look, write down three things, go home and do them in your first week. And that way you've made a start. Uh, plan your time. Make sure that when you're putting your time into your celebrancy business, that you make time to do it. So try and do something every day. And if you can't, plan to do something a couple of times a week. I'm a stickler for putting stuff in my diary so that I know, for example, on a Tuesday between three and five, I'm going to work on my business. I'm not going to do anything else and I'm not going to be disturbed and it will help me to avoid distractions. The next thing is, you know, really get yourself out there. People need to meet you. They need to see you because actually it's you they're buying. So get out there, meet your funeral directors, be persistent. Uh, one funeral director, I got my first funeral within two weeks and another, it's taken me 18 months. I've really had to work hard to get in there. They're all different and they're just wonderful people. So do go out and meet them. Be yourself, especially um, because you it's you that uh, either the funeral director or the couple um, are engaging and it's important that um, what they see is what they get. So funeral directors are very clever at matching the celebrant with the family. So for instance, I you might be the right celebrant for a family where I won't be and we trust funeral directors to do that. Uh, as couples become more aware of what celebrants can do, sometimes they might see two or three before they choose a celebrant. And quite often, if you're unsuccessful and you get feedback, it comes down to style and personality. So what works for one couple is not going to work for another. And that doesn't mean that it's a success or a failure on your part. It means that it's just a good fit. And because you've got such a long ongoing relationships with the couples as you write their ceremony, sometimes up to a year, sometimes two, it's really important that you can have that dialogue and you fit really, really well. So really, you know, be yourself. I can't put it more plain than that. It's really important to do that. Um, the other thing is persevere. So, you know, sometimes we don't win all of the business and especially when you're starting, you can feel a little bit crestfallen, uh, but it's important to persevere. All businesses that succeed persevere and they do that by reflecting, learning about what went well, what didn't go so well and planning ahead for the future. So keep an open mind and always learn from whatever's gone on in the future. So they're my top tips. Uh, if you've got any particular questions, you can always give us a call, um, have a look at our blogs and I hope very soon that I'll see some of you on our training. Take care.